to you this evening from Ireland's tidiest town, Lismore in County Waterford, where in a few minutes we'll be having an exclusive tour of the town's wonderful castles. First though, Moya Brennan, a woman who's been at the heart of some of this country's best musical creations. For many years she was the voice of Clonet. She now has a very successful solo career. And as well as that, she's very busy in her role as Goodwill Ambassador for the Christian Blind Mission. Recently, she visited Rwanda, an experience she says she will never forget. Maria Malarkey has this report on Moya Brennan, the singer and the volunteer. Moya Brennan sings with an angel's voice arousing a passion in every listener. She sings from the heart and her music refreshes and heals, exciting the senses, bringing a sense of calm to tired hearts. For many years she has been respected by Irish people not only as a singer but as a person and so was an excellent choice to become Goodwill Ambassador for Christian Blind Mission. I got involved in the Christian Blind Mission um, about two years ago. Uh, David McAllister got in touch with the office here and asked me would I be interested. Um, <clears throat> and it was something that really captured um, you know, my attention because having watched ads, particularly about World Vision and, and, and stuff like that, I always used to say to myself, I must take that number down, I must do something, I must send something. And the time goes past and then I never did it. So it was just all of a sudden an opportunity for me, you know, to do something. Going out to Rwanda was really special because I was able to see one-on-one um, -on -one how fantastic the work is. I was brought out to the, with the field workers that go out um, constantly keeping an eye on different uh, families that need help with the disability thing. It was great to see it in first hand, for sure, because it makes it all real for me. I was there at the end of a very busy week uh, of operations of uh, cataracts and trachoma. I saw bandages coming off and people just jumping for joy. You can feel it from inside, um, the tremendous relief and the tremendous joy and everything that they feel. It's not like that, you know, you're handing out, you know, money for them to live on and everything. It's, it's, it's kind of helping them be able to be, uh, you know, self-sufficient. And that's amazing because, you know, being over there watching opera operations being done on um, farmers that can't toil their land anymore um, and watching the bandages coming off and sort of him getting so excited because, you know, he was able to go back to work. Um, and it's fantastic just giving these people, uh, you know, a chance. David McAllister is the regional representative for Christian Blind Mission in West and Central Africa and has been working with them since 1990. His parents, who were missionaries, went to the Congo in 1952 and he lived there for the first 15 years of his life. The reason I'm working with Christian Blind Mission is um, I've seen a lot of things in, in Congo and in various other African countries in my life. Um, as a family, we were, we were hostages for, uh, in, in two different rebellions in Congo, and I saw an awful lot of carnage uh, in my teens. And I wanted to do something a bit meaningful with my life. I think most people would want to do that. And I thought uh, the best thing to do would be work in an organization that brings primary care to the most disadvantaged people group on earth in Africa uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. And that's why I chose to work with Christian Blind Mission. So is he going to have an operation soon? 
Christian Blind Mission works uh, worldwide. We work in over 103 countries uh, in the world. Our primary goal and concern is the prevention and cure of disability. Um, a lot of blindness is curable. Uh, the majority of blindness in the world is preventable. But we work with all disability, uh, physical disability, mental disability, uh, deafness as well. So um, we work at community level, and anyone that we can help uh, who has a disability, we will try to help. Working with Moya Brennan uh, as Goodwill Ambassador for Christian Blind Mission has brought us an awful lot of recognition here in Ireland. I very quickly recognize the fact that Moya's reputation could only do us good in CBM, and that has proven the case. He was blind from birth, and he got one eye done yesterday, and he's learning to see. Africans are very warm people. Africans very much respond to humanity. Um, they don't really care what you have in the bank. They care about your heart. And believe me, even the old village elders, they can sit down and talk with you, and they listen a lot. And as you talk, they're sizing you up. And um, if they figure you're a good person at heart, they'll work with you. They'll respond to you. And as soon as Moya hit the African scene, her warm personality just blossomed, and the Africans responded and reciprocated. And uh, within a very short time, there was a tremendous bond between Moya and the African she was. The job of Goodwill Ambassador for me, um, it, it's very humbling. I'm thrilled to be in such a position that I can use uh, what I am, who I am, to great benefit. And, and it's a great sense of achievement. I mean, I'd like to think there's a lot, lot more that I can do. But it's certainly, it's a, it's a great feeling, um, but humbling as well. Moya Brennan doing good work on behalf of the Christian Blind Mission in Rwanda.